Good morning, everybody. It's me, Maris, and it's a Wednesday morning. Happy hump day, I guess, is what some people might say. It's one of those really weird days to me. It's like, uh, yeah, it's been a strange day. Um, I was try I've been trying to get gas coming in from the Indian capital of the world all the way into the city, and... Um, yeah, it was a trip, but, uh, I will say this, the Valero on the west side of Chickasha off of 62, um, has the best meatloaf sandwich, just saying, it was really good, and I'm glad today was not a day of fasting, because then I would have broke my fast, but, uh, let's start with some smudging, and I just kind of want to clear some of that strangeness of Wednesday through there. So here's some smudge for you. And here's some smudge for me. The hands are an extension of that throat chakra. If you're into chakras, just an FYI. Alright, so, okay, got the smudge going on. Feel like I need to talk to the uh, grandmothers today. So I have the Sacred Earth Oracle. And we're going to smudge that. Kind of just pick that up. and So do me a favor while we're smudging. Is, um, love this video. Comment where you're watching from. Okay, I guess that one needs to stay out. And uh, share with somebody. That'd be really cool. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're getting some cards. They're flinging themselves out. Okay, and we'll just go one more go around. Okay, there. Okay, I think that's probably sufficient, so. Ooh, okay, so we're using the grandmother's deck. We're going to get a little Wednesday wisdom going in, and um, I'm laughing, okay, because the first card to me is kind of fitting. Yeah, considering that uh, she who ate a meatloaf sandwich on the way into work and it was really, really, really good. This is about moderation. Not having excess or uh, an underserving of things, but moderation. So bringing things in at a... Um, even and steady pace. This is about bringing things in at an even and steady pace. Oh, that's an interesting little card there. Uh, I like the hummingbirds. Okay. Our obstacle, ah, is expectation. Are we expecting too much from what we're providing? Or are we expecting too much from others. That's an interesting thought because sometimes we're investing this energy, especially like in a relationship, uh, a business partnership, and are our expectations in alignment with what's going on in that in that aspect. So that's a really interesting obstacle uh, is to be looking at your expectations and asking if you're being realistic. And then the cool part is this has become our help or our assistance and it is perspective. And this is where we have the opportunity to uh, examine our perspective and see if it is in alignment with truths or beliefs. Uh, I would like to think of it as a form of cognitive flexibility when we are um, allowed to, uh, we give ourselves the ability or allow ourselves to sit and 
put ourselves in check in aspects uh, to review um, are we doing what we should be doing or could be doing, would be doing, uh, are we happy in what we're doing. So this is, you know, kind of interesting. So, you know, the energy is coming in and saying, okay, you need to uh, put things into moderation and and look at them. Are your expectations in alignment? Are they realistic? And is your perspective in alignment and realistic as well? All right, so um, I'm going to say this one makes me laugh a lot because this is discernment upside down. And uh, and I'm just going to say this. Okay, so some of us are going to be in this point, And it's kind of like you recognize every single one of those red flags. And you know that every one of those red flags are pretty valid, right? But you choose to ignore those red flags. So this, again, is going in with your expectations. So even though you might verbalize that, yes, you are in alignment with your expectations and you understand that people can only provide what they want to provide, this card right over here states to me when I look at it is that... Um, we still think that we can fix something, even though something doesn't want to be fixed. We still feel like we can fix something, even though that something doesn't want to be fixed. Okay, so be mindful of that. This is going to change that relationship. And it's going to change it in a way that um, it will not go back to uh, its original cool, groovy state. Now, and you're all like, oh, man. And I'm like, okay, we always have opportunity. Chance favors a prepared mind. But what I'm looking at when I see this formation is I see that there is a change and that change creates a scenario that will not let it go back. That you can't back, what is that called? Backstep? Backstep into or, you know, try to change something through there. Um, it, God, this is a horrible analogy, but this is like the best analogy that I can come up with when I look at this formation card. This is like, let's say you're in an accident and you literally lose a limb. You literally lose a limb. That there is very little that you can do to bring that exact limb back. You can get a prosthetic, you can get a bionic, robotic, or whatever one, but it will never be the original limb that you had. And that's what this car is, ta is talking about. It's not saying you're going to lose a limb, so please don't go down that road. This is in regard to a relationship or relationships. It's saying that there is such a big change that creates a new formation, a new path but it inhibits or prohibits, will not allow you to go back to that original relationship. That's how big of a change that it is. It's a really, really strong change through there. All right. And what I'm looking at is on that change that it does create a lot of um, imbalance or instability. Um, I'm not picking up like a negative aspect on it. Um, I'm, I'm not picking up a negative aspect, but this is what I do pick up. It's kind of like going to the fair and it's your first time at the fair and you've never been through those little side shows. You know which ones I'm talking about. You know, like the one like the bearded lady or the baby born with fins. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and 
you're looking on the outside and you see all of the advertisement for it or the paintings for it and it creates this like oh my gosh kind of cool feel so a part of you has fear and the part of you has this extreme excitement because you want to see something really odd and strange you know eccentric looking and so you're having this little bit of a chaos, but it's almost, and I wouldn't even use the word chaos, but you're having this kind of strange excitement going on inside of you because you really don't know what's going to be on the other side of that door when you walk into that little sideshow carnival thing. Okay, so... And it has to be your first time. It can't be where you've done it before and you're just, like, excited to go see that weird stuff. No, it's, like, that very first time because you really anticipate seeing that baby with fins. Okay, come on, baby, flip. All right, there we go. All right, so that's what I'm feeling through there. I'm not feeling a negative imbalance. I'm feeling like that excitement, things um, are exciting, and um, I'm feeling kind of giddy, whatever with it, um, you know, like on a broken teeter-totter. <laughs> um, it's something, all right, so this change in this relationship is something that you have never experienced before. And your reaction to it catches you off guard because it is not the way that you would react to something when you've played out similar scenarios in your head. And I got this like flash of Fabio. You know who Fabio is. He was the star of a lot of those romance, um, the Harlequin romance novels. He was like the dude on the cover, you know, Fabio. Um, had the long, wavy hair, and you know that dude was, like, really built well, and you probably would have found him at the beach, that kind of cool, groovy thing, riding up to you on a horse. Yeah, sounds pretty cool. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, so, um, you know, what do we, we have these ideas in our head, you know, that Fabio is going to come rolling up on a horse and take us away, and we're going to be like, oh, I'm so into it, or whatever, when really, um, in, in all actuality, Fabio rolls up, and we're going, oh, head on down the road, I don't have time for this nonsense today, you know, whatever it might be, but um, uh, the reaction that you have to this change in relationship or ships is a reaction you have not anticipated. So um, always anticipate the unanticipated, right? You know, chance favors a prepared mind. And as long as you know that you have some change coming up and where it's leading to, you have the opportunity to make better choices for a more successful outcome. So I hope you enjoyed today's Wednesday Wednesday Wisdom. Uh, I'm like looking for my drink and I don't know what I did with it. So I got to go find it. So peace, love and harmony. I hope to see you very soon.